back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle um, today um, in the Midlands and um, in the UK it, the weather's been well it's cloudy now but it has been um, sunny and warm all day again today and that's uh, really a uh, brilliant weather really for October um, in the UK so and um, today I'm going to be doing Travel News UK five exciting facts October 2021 part one and again if you're new here to my channel hi my name is uh, Rebecca please subscribe it's the red and white subscription button also click the notification bell so you never miss an upload and I upload on my um, travel and lifestyle channel five times a week and I'm going to fire away um, with number one um, which uh, Sky News dot com says covid's new live and um, uk red list to be updated today as the country t uh, tells schools to reintroduce um, face masks admit admit rising covid covid um, infections so um again i hope the infections uh, go down um in schools and obviously people start wearing face masks again um but um it's a good thing for the travel industry that um the red list is updating um so moving on to number two bbc coronavirus travel advice is eased for 32 countries wow including algeria armenia bangladesh Belarus, benin Comoros, take lalo excuse my pronunciation knee i've debuche equatorial guinea Fuji, Gambia, Guinea, Kazakhstan, Kiribati, uh, Kosovo, Liberia, Madagascar, Malaysia, Marshall Islands, Micronesia, uh, New you, excuse my pronunciation, Santo Tom and uh, Principal Islands, uh, Senegal, Solomon Islands, Togo, Tonga, to Valu, Van Watu, excuse my pronunciation again, and Congo, America, um, and French Polynesia and Ghana. Um, again, a lot of these countries are in Africa, like Algeria, which is North Af Africa, West Af Africa, Guinea, Gambia, Liberia, Togo, and uh, a few countries in Europe, uh, like Belarus, and, uh, which is known as White Russia, if that's a fun fact to know, uh, and Kosovo, some countries um, in Asia like Bangladesh uh, and Southeast Asia like Malaria and some of the islands off the coast of Africa like the Comores um, and so, uh, some islands in the South Pacific like the Solomon Islands and a few um, Central Asian countries like Armenia and Kazakhstan so that's really good news um, Number three, uh, the Guardian, England's uh, coffee travel red list is to be uh, cut to a dozen of countries. So again, 12 countries are only going to be on the red list, uh, which is uh, which to be fair, we have uh, come a long way. 
uh, since um, COVID uh, started. Minister is um, planning to take uh, Brazil, Mexico and South Africa off the list, but the decision to axe the PCR test requirement hangs in balance. So um, you may, may need a PCR test. So. I mean, again, it's best to check with um, uh, the on the government's website uh, regularly, um, or with your tour operator, etc. Um, number four. Three days ago, the Amber List uh, countries um, have been scrapped. Uh, that's on Euronews.com. And last but not least, www.government.uk travel advice cha uh, change made to over 30 countries and territories. The Foreign Commonwealth Development Office um, has lifted um, its advice to all but essential travel uh, for over 30 countries and territories um which again is really good news for the travel industry so again um i really hope um we don't get more infections um in the um so i would like to say thank you for watching and um i'll see you on sunday for traveling improvements updates and more so thank you and bye for now have a good night or day thank you bye